Hey everyone, just wanted to do a quick video today on uh, some of the stuff and the effects of uh, sugar on the body and the metabolism and all of that. Seems that's kind of the root of what we're all talking about here. Uh, the effects on your body, insulin levels, uh, whether you're able to lose uh, weight or not, those kind of things. Sugar affects so many things in the body adversely that it's very important to take care of all of those things and eliminate sugar where you can in the raw form or even in the form of carbohydrates like breads and rice and potatoes and stuff like that. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is the effect of sugar on the brain. Sugar on the brain, eating sugar gives your brain a huge surge of, a, of a, of a chemical called dopamine and it's got a, it create after a while of doing dopamine or doing dopamine getting dopamine in your system over and over again creates this I gotta have it thing and uh, your body uh, craves it wants it and that that starts you down that path of uh, of cravings and all of those kind of things and, and when it kind of goes out of control on you so you know beyond the um, the brain we also have to deal with the heart now the heart is uh, it, uh, extra insulin in the bloodstream can affect the heart in, in many different ways. Uh, it causes uh, uh, the walls in the, of your uh, vessels, the, your veins and your arteries uh, to get uh, more tense, become more hard and solid and add stress to your heart, which uh, over time can lead to heart disease, heart attacks and strokes. So uh, people who eat a lot of added sugar um, in their system where at least 25% of their calories come from sugar, um, they increase, they're twice as likely to die from heart disease or some of those uh, things that come from eating too much sugar um, uh, and than those that have a diet that has less than 10% sugar within their system. So at 25%, think about it, on a 1200 calorie a day diet, you're only talking 300 calories from sugar. So uh, do a calculator online, you'll figure it out how much sugar you can have. The body really only needs about one tablespoon of sugar to survive. Actually, that's even beyond surviving. That's all it needs to, to run and operate. It, it does, it uses it very efficiently. So, uh, you know, maintaining your levels and insulin levels and sugar is very important. So uh, that's that's a, a big part of it. So we've covered the brain and the heart so far. Uh, let's go ahead and, and continue on with some of the other body parts we've got to talk about here. You know, we have organs that are affected by the sugar. It's just a, just a poison to the system. I did write an article on it. You can go to this, my site, uh, yourhealthbeyond50.com. I wrote an article about um, sugar and uh, all of that and how it affects you and all. Uh, I de definitely go check that out and see what you think. So first of all, um, uh, if you have diabetes, too much sugar can really cause a lot of uh, kidney damage. Kidneys play an important part in your life. They, uh, they're the filters in your system and uh, it filters out all that garbage out of your system. Once blood sugars real levels reach a certain amount the kidneys start to uh, let off excess sugar and you uh, get rid of that stuff in uh, in your urine um, if it's left uncontrolled diabetes can damage the kidneys immensely uh, it prevents them from doing their job filtering out uh, all the bad stuff out of your system and they just kind of give up and when they do that you uh, all the poisons in your body and all the poisons in your system just continue to back up this is a bright sunny day out here today in Seattle I'll tell you what this is just beautiful out here that's why I decided to come out here and do it today so I might seem a little scattered with my points I had to jot some notes down on a piece of paper because I didn't want to do this from the office. I wanted to go outside and do this. I thought this would be much better. So um, anyway, so let's move on. We went from the kidneys. Let's let's talk about the liver for a second here. Um, you know, the abundance of added sugar, uh, it, it can cause the liver to become uh, resistant to insulin. Uh, when it does that, uh, it uh, uh, doesn't turn the sugar in your blood system into energy. And it means you're unable to control your blood sugar levels as well. And this is what the uh, leads to the onset of type 2 diabetes. So I would uh, definitely... Uh, you know, take that in consideration when you're thinking about it. So we moved on from, you know, the, the brain to the kidneys to the liver. So what about the pancreas? The pancreas is a really big organ that's affected by the sugar levels in your body. And that's uh, when, you eat, uh, your, when you eat food, your pancreas pumps out insulin into your system. And if you eat too much sugar, your body starts responding to that and stops pumping out uh, and starts pumping out even more insulin and eventually it overworks the pancreas. It breaks down just like your car or anything else from overuse and your blood sugar levels rise. And it's again, it sets you up for a type two diabetes or even heart disease. Uh, super important to pay attention to that. Now all these things, sugar affects your body weight and all of that, it's probably no news to you, but the more sugar you eat, the more weight you're gonna gain. Uh, research shows that people who drink uh, uh, sugar sweetened beverages tend to weigh more and have a higher risk of type 2 diabetes than those that don't drink uh, uh, sugar laden drinks and pops and sodas and crap like that. So, uh, you know, stay away from all that stuff that has the refined type sugar stuff in it. Soda pop, 
sweetened uh, lemonades, those kind of things. People think I'm drinking lemonade, I'm drinking sweetened tea, you know, it's, it's got to be better for me than drinking, you know, this, that, and the other thing. No, the, the, the teas and the, and the sweetened drinks are just as bad. You got to check your, read your labels. I, I'm, a, I'm a big advocate for reading labels, and I've been telling everybody that from day one. You got to read your labels, you got to know what's going on. If you don't, you're going to get lost. So, Eating lots of sugar also has a huge effect on your joints. It's shown that it can uh, uh, cause joint pain because of the inflammation in the body. Sugar causes inflammation. Again, diabetes is a form of inflammation. That's where it comes from. It comes from uh, inflammation in your body and sugar just exasperates that and makes it, makes it even worse. So studies show that sugar consumption can increase your risk of rheumatoid arthritis. Also, RA, it's horrible. I know friends that have RA and it's just, it's, it's a horrible debil debilitating disease. So uh, more sugar exasperates that. You need to uh, cut that out also or you're going to be in trouble there. Um, now we move on to the skin. You know, the skin is the largest organ in our body. Um, we have to take care of it, and, and a lot of times it's one that gets forgotten because it's, it's, you know, it's our skin. It's just a, it's a wrapper, but it's not. It's actually a living, breathing organ. It, it, it takes and absorbs stuff in and out. And as your skin, if you drink, if you eat too much sugar, drink. If you eat too much sugar, you're going to uh, uh, age your skin a lot faster. It's going to sugar attaches proteins in your body. And it creates uh, harmful molecules called AGESs or ages which is kind of funny, but it's uh, advanced gly gly glycitation end products. Wow, there's a mouthful. They've been shown to damage collagen and the elasticity in your skin, which results in wrinkles and saggy skin. So you want to get wrinkles, you want to get, get rid of your wrinkles, get rid of your saggy skin, stop eating sugar. You know what I'm saying? So now we move on to teeth. Teeth are a big deal. You know, um, you can't eat without them. I have a couple that are missing here from my you know, military days and stuff like that. And I'll tell you, just a couple missing in the back is just a gigantic pain. So your mother's right. Candy's not right for your teeth and it'll rot them out. There's bacteria that causes cavities, love to eat sugar, and they linger in your mouth and they, they eat on that stuff and they eat on the enamel and all that sugary stuff in there and they just destroy everything. So it's uh, super important to maintain your teeth. If you do choose to, to eat sugar, make sure you're brushing your teeth after you eat a candy bar or drink a soda, one of those things. Make sure you're drinking and, and you're brushing your teeth. That's super important. So um, one of the last two items here, you know, one is the, your mood. The thing about uh, sugar in your mood is that uh, when we start to get down, you know, about three o'clock, we start looking for that candy bar so we can go out there and get that uh, sugar. And however, you're, if, when your levels drop, you start to absorb sugar, uh, you may start to feel jittery, uh, anxious, and those kind of things. And then all of a sudden, you're, you're looking at, a, at that uh, you know, a sugar crash. Uh, it it's, uh, uh, starts off and it starts to affect your mood. It can affect you long term. If you're at work, nobody's going to want to be around you. If you're at home, nobody's going to want to be around you there. Studies linked high sugar intake to greater risk for depression. So those of you that have a problem with depression, you know, one of the, one of the triggers and one of the causes of that is sugar. Sugar is just a really bad thing. So lastly, and I'll, and I'll leave it with this, is, you know, for your sexual health, and this mainly is for, um, you know, the men out there, and I just want to let you know that uh, if, if you, you, you really should be skipping dessert on your date night, because uh, sugar impacts the uh, chain of events that uh, that's needed for an erection. It's, it's, you have to have certain things happen. It affects your circulatory system. It controls blood flow through, through, throughout your body. Um, and all those things need to be working properly in order if you have a long-lasting erection. And if you don't do that, it's going to be a problem. Um, ED is a problem, and a lot of ED can be resolved with uh, elimination of sugar from their, their uh, diet and their system. So I hope all of this made sense. Um, I am writing a, a, an article about this so we can, uh, uh, so I can go a little more in-depth to things uh, and what you should do and what you shouldn't do, some of the uh, uh, solutions, uh, some of the hidden sugars. Uh, it'll pretty, the article covers pretty much everything. So again, uh, you guys have a great day. It's a beautiful day out here in Seattle, and I'm uh, really enjoying just doing this outside. I might have to do more of these outside. Anyway, love your comments down below. If there's something that I've uh, hit on that you would like me to expand on, or if there's something that's inaccurate in there, I call me out on it. Um, I, you know, I, I believe in accuracy and and, uh, and I believe in the truth. So let's go ahead and uh, and uh, you know make sure that everybody's accurate in their information. Again, read that story that I'll put a link down below if I can. Um, Facebook makes it real difficult to do some of this stuff, but I have an article about uh, the sugar industry and how they tried to play it off as fat being the the problem and sugar was not. And uh, you know those with more money win and the lobbying won for sugar. And I think you should really read the story. I tried to post it on there with a couple comments. But Facebook kept shutting it down and saying that it was uh, uh, too um, uh, too inflammatory, uh, clickbaity, or something like that. I, I have no idea. So anyway, so I took all my comments out. They did let me post the actual article, but they weren't able to let me make any comments or anything on it, and I'm not sure why. 
Anyway, hope you all have a great day. Check out that article, comment, like down below, subscribe uh, if you can, and I really appreciate you guys. Have a great day.